Hey everyone, it's Dave here and today we'll be talking about the recent update to Virtual Desktop. So to this day the situation was that to fully utilize the tools that this program provides for us, which mainly is streaming wireless PC VR content to the Quest, right? To do that we would have to have a developer account on the Oculus side and then sideload some other things from SideQuest in order to kinda compile all together a fully functional feature. For us like VR enthusiasts that's not that big of a deal, simply because we do so many things out of our way to enjoy VR as we would like, right? But we still have to remember that we are like a small percentage of the overall community that uses that technology. So like not everyone really knows about SideQuest and just kind of like, you know, tinkering with settings and changing parameters to satisfy our like VR needs. You know, as a basic consumer, you would want to have baseline product that works from the head start, pretty much. With no our input really to just receive what we wanted without any problems, basically. So to this day, we would have to do a free step program basically to unlock the wireless VR basically just buying the actual application in the store downloading the program from their site and installing a patch from SideQuest to like unlock the feature and that usually was creating like issues because not everyone understands basically how side loading works and that's fine because not everyone has to be technology savvy or whatever but from the recent update the third step with SideQuest is officially gone now it reduces to the two step program which I guess it's basic common knowledge right because the only thing to start using the full experience of virtual desktop you would have to just install the streamer app from their site to use it like before that eliminates a lot of friction in terms of mostly new users because for the current runs it doesn't really change anything because we already had everything set up and it's something that you do only once in your whole usage of this application basically right no creating developer accounts not creating just unnecessary steps that frankly oculus should have done it by themselves a long time ago already as well as this patch was for some reason being delayed by just putting it on the official update cycle that while well, it's fine that we're getting it something is like in the ether right I don't know like why now if it's because they dropped the ball on making their own wireless solution with their official support I don't know something's going on <laughs> me myself I'm trying to convert myself still to usage of this app on the daily because most of the time I'm in VR I'm recording and my mentality around that is that I really care about the quality and performance not personally for myself but like for the output video that I put out and recently I'm just starting to having some weird low frame rate issues with the videos and I'm pretty sure it's because of the recent updates like 25 or 26 right for some reason it feels like oculus is starting to drop the quality of the updates just like they did with oculus one I remember and make it harder for creators to like record anything basically it's like they're introducing like one two feature but they're screwing up 10 that already worked pretty perfectly so Something's going on and it seems like this time of year virtual desktop is like reconnecting with me because every time I'm starting to have issues with software from Oculus, I'm going back to the virtual desktop. That's funny how it works. Like this app kinda cleans up the incompetence of the company. It's just how it is I guess with me. Because at the end of the day, this application saves my ass. Like there's no hiding about it. And this update, while it doesn't really concern me, is very important for like the future of wireless VR pretty much. If in terms of software or politically. And it's important to spread the word because frankly now we don't having to do anything with side quest I would say this application is like top-notch mandatory for every user of quest headset in general if you have a PC of course the developer pretty much puts up very consistent updates that I don't really cover on my channel because I don't want to spam the content of virtual desktop like it's not necessarily a game to check out what's happening and what's new but every now and then when something really major happens I'm like glad to do a video on it because this application deserves like every praise that it gets so here's my short look of the update. Okay, so I uninstalled pretty much everything, the streamer app and virtual desktop from the headset. So I'm pretty much going in like I would just get the application from the store. Just to kind of see how is the fluidity in just starting usage. So we're in. Yeah, make sure your computer is running streamer app. So that's still needed to run virtual desktop. Okay, let's do that. Now we're connecting. Okay, so the patch from SideQuest is built in. You pretty much don't need anymore to sideload it. So the only two 
two things left is installing the official application from the store and installing the application from the virtual desktop site. So that's kind of like cutting 33% of what you had to do before. It seems like even the settings are a little bit simplified. For example, here, the VR graphics quality did not have like the specifics of the average kind of hardware that you should use with. I mean, I have RTX 2080 Ti, so I'm kind of like between medium and high, but I'll still play medium just because I kind of care about the latency overall. So we'll see about that. Here's the actual mind blower. So if you see like kind of closely behind the windows, this environment actually is live. It's not like a stock image or something. This is actually a live footage from Chicago. And like you can see like cars on the street like moving, like you would be actually sitting in a chair with your computer and just having a view outside. It's actually crazy. The developer Guy Godin pretty much just implemented a 180 kind of video here. Actually simulate <laughs> real life that's going on outside of VR that you're in the headset. That's actually crazy. So I wanna check like the performance of Medal of Honor if it's something like you know better because I'm still trying to convert myself to like virtual desktop. For some reason I have this blockade in my head that I still wanna use link cable for some reason. I don't know why. And even now like virtual desktop is more accessible without this side quest kind of thing. But I still am hesitant to use virtual desktop for some reason. But I'm trying <laughs> to just be cool. <laughs> Seems like everything's fine. Like the image is pretty much exactly the same as I would be on Link. So I want to see the performance in some mission. I guess let's play multiplayer. Yeah, why not? I'm doing my lovely Garand, of course. Let me see. Behis. Okay. Holy shit, it's so free to not use your cable. Especially in games like dynamic ones, you know? Nothing's get tangled, you can just freely fucking move. Oh, I see. I'm playing versus computer anyways because I'm pretty sure multiplayer here is dead. <laughs> and it's not because of the game, it's on the PC. If it would be like, you know, on Quest already, it would be so much more popular. I mean, there are two people, so whatever. So far, performance is pretty much equivalent. Yes. Oh, that's a player. <laughs> I can tell by the movement. Nope. There's a player as well. <laughs> it's always like a game here to just like see who's who. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for this encouragement. I have to actually use the scope here. Damn. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> Hello. Oh my damn. <laughs> Sneaky bee. Okay, well, I mean, performance is pretty much ideal. I don't really know why I'm still hesitant to use virtual desktop. I mean, I'm gonna use it more today because I'm doing a recording session with Population 1 and stuff like that. But I'm just still kind of confused why it's hard for me to use this application more often. I'm pretty sure it's just like my blockade in my brain. That's pretty much it, you know. But nevertheless, I'm very glad that this update is here and people have to know more about it because this is a very game changing feature, pretty much. It kind of seems on the surface like not a very big deal you know just switching the patch from side quest to the official store but in the grand scheme of things that's probably the biggest change from any application ever both from the software perspective and kind of like political with oculus and stuff like that those who know know us what's up so we'll see and yeah props and great that we're skipping at least one step of the whole virtual desktop journey